You are in Times Square, Manhattan. Your favorite celebrity is standing right behind you. What do you do? Wave? Hug? Punch? Now what if I told you it was all fake? Photoshop. I wanted to see if I Photoshop celebrities into my Instagram photos, if anyone would notice. You never know if a celebrity could be right behind you. Oh, hey, what's going on? How is it? I think that's good. Oh man, Spock's pooping in the front yard. No, Spock. God, why is he, he's only on one ha hand. That's our son. He's doing his best. Good is boy. He though? Okay, so we got our first picture. I think we're gonna put Dwayne The Rock Johnson somewhere back there. The Rock, do you think you would like that? Maybe we'll put him on a rock. There's a rock. So here is our first Instagram post. We're either gonna go with this one or that one. And I'm looking pretty busted in both, so I don't think it matters. We need to make the celebrity in this photo very small. It's around one, all right? I don't want anyone to notice. I don't want anyone to even have the possibility to distinguish who is behind me. So it's important for me to find a photo that makes, dude, no way is that real. It's important for it to look realistic. Oh my God, are we gonna put three celebrities? Dude, this would actually be really good. Mark Wahlberg, The Rock. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. All right, so here's the photo. Obviously, we need to remove the background, so we'll do that right now. Boom, look at that, it's like magic. I'm literally a magician. There's not even anything in this mug. I thought mugs were, all right, so where are we gonna put them in the back? Dude, no way is anyone gonna notice this. I'm trying to think, if that tree's that big, I wanna make it look like they're really just intentional about this walk. Dude, that's so good. <laughs> Look at that. Who's gonna expect that to be Mark Wahlberg, The Rock, and that other guy? I feel so disrespectful that I don't know him. He's probably a big actor. So now we kind of need to match the resolution with the photo, so do a sl- <laughs> Yeah, no one's gonna notice them, no doubt. There's no way anyone notices that. <laughs> I need to add some sun rays to them because obviously it's punching my face right there. So let's see if we can do that. Here you go, Dwayne. You look like Iron Man now. I mean, they're already pretty lit, which is good. <laughs> hey, that doesn't look right. What if I do overlay? God, he just looks like Donald Trump now. Look at him. It's not like I can change the shadows. So I just need to work with what I got here. Yes. That's looking better already, honestly. I think I need to get rid of this guy. I feel terrible, but I think I need to do it. Uh, rest in peace, the guy whose name I do not know. <laughs> Can't even look. Now the rock just looks weird. He literally is missing his butt and his foot. Okay, well, I'll just give him another foot then. Here you go, sir. Dude, I need to become a doctor. That was so easy. It looks kind of weird, but <laughs> who cares? Who's keeping track? Not me. I'm giving you your butt back, Dwayne. Sounds so weird. Something's missing here. I think it needs to be a little bit more blurry or something. What if I had noise? Maybe, oh God. Looks like Thanos just snapped his finger. Am I right, guys? Jeez. And now The Rock and Mark Wahlberg are behind me in my photo. Is anyone gonna notice them? That's really the question I'm asking myself right now. I think we just need to risk it. I think we gotta post this. It might not be perfect, but hey. No one is. Nothing in this world is perfect, except, except for The Rock. Here goes nothing. I'll see you in like two seconds. Okay, so I got the dub on the first one, but honestly, it was a little too easy. So here is the second photo we're working with, and I think I'm gonna Photoshop Ariana Grande in this car. These photos were pretty fun to take, by the way. Haley, can I get your opinion on this? You think this looks terrible, honestly? It does look terrible. What if I sat in this? Yeah, that's good. You're just saying that, because it's cold. All right, what about this? I like this better. This, okay. this one right okay, there. Go! All right, okay, so I think I'm gonna put Ariana Grande in that car. I don't know why she'd be driving a Ford Fusion, but <laughs> here we are. All right, let's take these sick pictures. I want full body, because my fit is literally insane right now. I'm gonna take the lab mic off so I can take this. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, I, there, it's gonna be so obvious. I have a lab mic on. Lab mic? Haley, you're making fun of me on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Haley, you can't just run away. Okay, so Ariana Grande in public, this might work really well, actually. And we're doing slides, so we gotta save a bunch of photos. Oh my god, no way, she's holding Starbucks? This picture was literally taken right outside of Starbucks. This is crazy. Okay, I think we have everything we need. I really hope people notice this time. No, I don't, no, I don't. Look how small she is right now. Ariana Grande, more like Ariana T Tall, short. Ar Ariana Dimmy, three ounces. What is that even for? All right, so we have four Ariana Grandes just plastered all over my screen right now. Let's put her in this Ford Fusion. Sorry, Ariana, I know you probably only drive G-Wagons and spaceships, Wh whatever, I don't care. <laughs> all right, there it is, finished. No, that's way too obvious. I think what we need to do is do an auto color. Does she just look too big? I think I need to lower the contrast. 
I think you need to make it darker as well, I think. Windows are generally tinted, right? It looks so fake, it looks so fake, it looks so fake. This one is pretty good, this one's pretty good. Let me add some noise. No, nope, that's too much. Like if you were looking at someone in their car, you'd actually be able to barely see them, I feel like. Like it'd be very difficult to make them out. That's pretty good. Okay, this is realistic, I feel like. Erase the arm, that was rude, but I'm sorry. Sorry, Ari, I need to stop saying that. <laughs> so I did an overlay so that she kind of blends in with the, the car window. Okay, that actually looks really good. That one right there looks really, really good. People in the last post noticed that there was people behind me, but they didn't realize it was a celebrity. In order for my followers to win, I feel like they have to name who it is. And obviously it's gonna get easier as we go because they have to win eventually. Look at that smile, oh my gosh. It's literally contagious, I'm smiling at myself. That's so narcissistic, that's crazy. Crazy. Who's this guy? Sorry, I don't know you. You're leave. You're gone. Dude, the overlay is so good. That's everything. I think in this last photo, I th I'm just not gonna have her in the photo because I don't want to be too obvious. Okay, so I'm gonna do some color editing and stuff, and then we'll post it. And fingers crossed, no one notices Ariana Grande in the Ford Fusion. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it's been over an hour, and it seems like most people are just commenting on my outfit, which is justified. Let's see. I'll be honest, this one is probably harder than the last one. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's way harder. You literally, like on Instagram, you can probably tell that there's someone photoshopped in the car, but there's no way you can tell that it's Ariana Grande. Literally no one even noticed the person in the car at all. So maybe I need to make this a little easier. The next one will be a given, I promise. If they don't notice the next one, I'm sorry, but they're dumb. I didn't mean that, I love you guys. Even if you don't notice the next one, you're still amazing. All I really know is that's another dub for me. I'm up 2-0. Lots of people here today. So looking for Zac Efron. I think he's out here somewhere. I heard Zac Efron's just walking out and about. So let's go take a photo with him. Let's go, let's go find him. Zac, I like this red. This is pretty cool. I want an aesthetic photo because you know I'm, a, I'm an aesthetic. What if I sat in this and then maybe Zac Efron. <laughs> You know what? Okay, here's the plan. So we're gonna be sitting in this chair. Zac Efron's gonna be sitting in a chair or just standing behind me somewhere. This is round three, so this needs to be a little bit easier than the other ones. First, we had The Rock and Mark Wahlberg. There's so many Marks in Hollywood. No one figured it out. Then we had Ariana Grande. This one was even harder. So we need to give them some sort of chance to figure it out within 15 minutes. Otherwise, it's a lost cause for you guys. I'm, I'm winning. Two dubs. You got two L's. What just happens to celebrities on my Instagram until you notice? <clears throat> Let's get it. Taking my mic off, because it'd be weird if I had a mic on my. No, no, I'm filming a video if I got a lavalier mic on. All right, so we're gonna go with this photo. I'm gonna Photoshop the chair out to distract people from the fact that Zac Efron is literally behind me, existing, and hopefully that distracts them enough. I mean, what's more interesting? This dude is literally levitating, or there's like some guy behind me. I don't know, we'll see. But we had to do a good job on Photoshop. At the end of the day, that's what we have to do. I look good on chairs. All right, ladies and gents, let's do this. It'd be insane if we can get him to sit down, but I don't think that's possible. Oh, what a hunk. What a hunk, are you kidding me? We have two photos. If we can make him look like he is existing in both photos in a different way, this one and this one. By the way, we're gonna make it look like I'm levitating. <laughs> look at Zac Efron. What if I just put three of Zac Efron walking behind me? <laughs> I think in this first one, we're gonna make it look like he's over here maybe. Okay, let's make him about the size of this individual because we want everything to make sense and feel like this is reality. So there's that. This first photo, he's gonna be over there. Second photo, he's gonna be more like, maybe like right here. Ah, it's still so, so obvious, you know? What if we put him on the very edge, like this? Oh, dude, if no one notices this, that's ridiculous. I'm trying to make it easier. <laughs> There's no way no one notices this. All right, first one, we gotta sell it. We have to make this look like he is literally walking out of this movie theater, probably just watched his own movie, etc., etc. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna add some shadows. There's not even any shadows, really, on any other objects in this photo, other than maybe directly beneath just because that's how shadows work. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadows here. I mean, literally look at that freaking toe drive. Are you serious? That has to be a 45 degree angle. I mean, 45 degree dangle. <laughs> what am I doing? The thing is there's just no shadows. See, that looks fake. That looks really fake. I don't know Photoshop that well. Wait, the first to say it, you don't have to say it. I'll say it. That looks 
pretty real and I'm pretty sure no one's gonna even look at him This is gonna be the first photo because I am gonna be levitating now We just have to get rid of this so we're trying to get rid of this This is the only way I know how to do it the levitation is essential to us not being caught We are trying to distract you guys from even looking at Zac Efron in the back not bad not terrible This is gonna be an epic photo. I can tell no one's gonna notice Zac Efron in this first photo at least However, if they don't notice him in this second photo I'm gonna be concerned about you guys and this is the other fun part. All right, Zach, why you got a hole in your shirt? I would believe that he's actually walking. I mean, is that reckless of me? Probably. What is that right there? Why is there green boogers under his shoe? Get it together, Zach. Get it together. Okay, this looks pretty fake. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna add a little bit more motion blur. Dude, this has to be the one that people notice. Like, the fastest. I am making this one so blatantly obvious. What if I drag him a little bit more? Like, there. I feel like it's a dead giveaway. I think it's a risk we have to take. At the end of the day, if we really want to get ballsy here, this is what we have to do. But now, to distract them from Zac Efron, let's levitate. You wanna play hardball? We can play hardball. Well, I literally created a puzzle for myself. We can do this. It's just gonna take some time. Does this look real? Probably not. It looks real enough. It really does. And it's Zac Efron. Obvious, probably. He probably is. Nick, will you come see if this looks real at all? This is the cover photo. You can see Zac Efron, right? I know he's supposed to be in there so I can see him, but I don't think I'd look at him and, like, recognize him. Okay, well, this is the cover photo. I mean, this is the most obvious so far, but we gotta, we gotta give him some leeway. Yeah, we gotta. You know? Yeah, the first two were really tough. Screw it. I'm posting it. Good luck, nerds! Alright, so it's approximately, how many hours has it been? Four hours since posting this. Do you guys notice anything weird about this photo? Your forehead looks really big. Other than the forehead? You look Wait, extra was cute. It, was, I mean, yeah, anything. Levitating. Levitating. Yeah. Yeah. The forehead yeah. is not the... Was it actually not the... I feel really oh bad. That, there's, <laughs> that person doesn't look real on the back. Who? It's a video game character. That's a video game character. Oh wait, is that a real person? No, that's Photoshop. <laughs> that's Photoshop. Who is yes. that? Wait, it looks like Matthew Fisher, except Photoshop. Is I, that, that um, like the guy from you? Zach Efron. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to do this series where I Photoshop celebrities into my photos and see if anyone notices. Yeah. And I don't know if anyone noticed, which is crazy. Oh, okay, this is the only person out of 250 comments. Cedric said no one gonna mention Zach Efron walking. <laughs> he got no likes on his comment. <laughs> Everyone was like, what are you talking about? Have you guys seen any other celebrities on my Instagram? No. no are you serious? I don't follow you. <laughs> you don't follow me? Ariana Grande in the car. <laughs> oh, wow. Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> that was the best oh one. Oh my god. I would consider this a dub, except for Cedric. So this is three in a row where no one has really noticed. Wow. On to the next one. I just popped a pimple, can you tell? I don't care. So this one is gnarly, all right? There are four celebrities in this photo right now. I don't even know if you can tell. Honestly, let's cut to Chicago. What's up, gang? We out here. I lost my voice. We out here at the Bean. <clears throat> at the Bean in Chicago, Illinois, United States, Earth. I guess I could have gone to North America, but anyways, you get the idea. This is the perfect ploy. Are you serious, you guys? Look at all these people. All these potential celebrity photoshops. I'm gonna get crazy here. Listen up. If you guys don't see a single one, I'm gonna- Whoa! That's what I'm gonna do when I see you if you don't see any celebrities. Are you gonna Photoshop celebrities behind you? No. Then what's the point? Well, when she's done her little 15 minutes of spotlight, I'm gonna take over. Yeah, I was sick, but this Photoshop job's about to be ill. Let me tell you why. Boom, Harry Styles and Taylor Swift. Boom, Beyonce and Jay-Z. You wouldn't even notice, and I haven't even edited it yet. yet. Watch this. Here we go. You gotta make them blend in. It looks like the bean is, you know, casting a shadow of sorts. And we're gonna lower the contrast. I don't think these guys are together anymore, but I looked up Harry Styles in public, and apparently he only goes out in public with Taylor Swift, is what we're working with. So as the shadow gets longer, it's going to actually become more faint. And this is something that I learned. It's actually something I didn't learn. I didn't learn this. Uh, I'm just kind of guessing here. I wanna make it look bluish. Gotta add some blur though. Motion blur? Eh. Eh? Actually. <laughs> Just kidding. It looks too black. I, I need it to look more blue. Close. Actually, very close. Okay. Let's clean this up. It needs to be thinner. No, it needs to be harder. That's what it needs to be. Boom. That actually looks pretty solid. Shadows are very difficult, in my opinion. I mean, look at this. It's like a constant gradient away from this person. So this guy's dramatically distorted. Ah, so difficult. Screw the bean. We're not going to put him on the bean. You know what would happen if we put him on the bean? Let me show you. Give it my best shot. No one would notice a thing. 
I mean, it's perfect. Here's what we're gonna do. Try to make them look a little more realistic. Looks like there is a bit of sunlight being cast, although these guys are living in the shadows, and that is just metaphorical for Hollywood being a very dark place. Okay, give them some, some sunlight, you know? Give them something to look forward to. They do need to be a little bit more pixelated because everyone else behind them looks like they are in a PlayStation 1 video game. Mosaic. That's perfect. We're gonna do a little bit of gosh and blur then. Gosh, get you someone who looks at Harry Styles the way that Taylor Swift does. Honestly, I look at Harry Styles this way. Who am I kidding? It might be overkill if we do beyond. Ah, screw it. Let's try it. I'll try anything once. I take that back. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't try anything once, let's be honest. These folks are a little farther back, but that doesn't change the fact that I don't know how to edit. Dude, there's no way someone doesn't see these. I mean, the Taylor Swift and Harry Styles one is right out in the open. I need to make Beyonce and Jay-Z smaller and less obvious because they are truly iconic. They aren't even there. What if I made them this small? <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, I know where I'm gonna put them. Right there. No one would notice a thing, dude. I have to hide them more because otherwise I'm just giving myself away. They literally look famous. At least Harry Styles and Taylor Swift kind of look like normal humans. And then we'll just start Start erasing. Sorry, Beyonce. Never did I think that I would intentionally get rid of Beyonce's face in any situation. They almost look as if they are entering the underside of this bean. Yeah, I mean, that's solid. That's solid. Right by my face as well. No one's gonna recognize these folks. If you couldn't tell, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, shucks. I didn't do that on an additional layer. If anyone notices this, I I'd be surprised if they noticed Beyonce and, and Jay-Z. Wouldn't be surprised if they noticed Taylor Swift and Harry Styles. I mean, at this point, no one is figuring out. Ah! Sorry, I just stretched. Like, my audience is not overwhelmingly noticing these folks. Why do I keep saying folks? I've never said that in my life. I'm referring to celebrities here. These people aren't folks, they're stars. I'll see you in like 30. Let's go. So let's see if anyone noticed. It's actually been four days since I posted this photo. I really wanted to give people a lot of time because this one is very obvious if you just decide to zoom in. However, it is not like at the naked eye. It's not something that you'd be like, wait, is there something behind him? Because there's so many people in the photo. So I love you, Ryan. I love you too. It was a rock that was on your head for a sec. That's not true. Excuse me, are you in Chicago? Yes. Ryan's head be like, hello. That's one giant bean. That's correct. Beans. Lots of beans comments. Watch out. This might be photoshopped. I think that they're just saying this in general because I do a lot of photoshopping, but I don't know. They're not referring to Harry Styles and Taylor Swift. I know that for sure. Did you do press-ups before this? Wow, you must be very European. Is this a freaking field trip in the background? I think it was. <laughs> there was actually so many teenage girls. No one noticed. I mean, to be fair, yes. If you zoom in, I think it's pretty obvious. Like, Taylor Swift has a very obvious profile. Harry Styles a little bit less. And there's just no way anyone's going to see Jay-Z or Beyonce. So regardless, it doesn't matter. I mean, how many victories is that for me now? I'm trying to make it more obvious. That's the thing. Like, I'm not even trying to make it to where like, oh, they're never going to find this. Then I will be the best Photoshopper in the world. No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just having a little fair game with you guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Anyways, on to the next. Here's the thing. Literally, no one is noticing. I mean, did you see Harry? I haven't noticed any of the people until you told me. So apparently it must be too difficult. I guess it's obvious to me because I'm the one putting these celebrities behind me, but we're putting Kylie Jenner behind me today. And at this point, if you guys don't see Kylie Jenner in my photo, I'm probably just gonna delete my Instagram account. Cue the music because I'm taking my lap mic off because it'd be weird if my lap... Okay. Okay, so here we have Kylie Jenner. There's a little bit more going on, let me explain. What I'm trying to do here is prevent people from immediately drawing their eyes to Kylie Jenner. So I did this thing with my head. I don't even know if I'm gonna do this. So we just have to make Kylie look relatively realistic. Here we go. These ladies behind us are gonna be serving as a nice decoy. Like, oh, okay, there's people in this environment. I'm sorry, if people don't notice this, it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous, I'll tell you that much. It's like, oh, she getting busted. Is, is that really like recognizable enough as as Kylie Jenner though, that's the question. Not sure if I'm feeling this photo of her, not gonna lie. I'm gonna find a different one. What if I can make her look like she's sitting down? Sorry, Travis. I don't even think they're together anymore, so most of them. Her body looks so distorted. If I can make it look like she's sitting behind this nice woman. This actually doesn't look that bad. Hold on. This is gonna be the best possible situation for us. Because it looks like this could naturally be happening. You know, we don't just have Kylie Jenner just randomly standing in the back of my photo. She's sitting down. And maybe I didn't notice that she was behind me. We just have to make it look real. We'll just clean this up a bit and then we'll see what we're working with. All right? Welcome to my photo, Kylie. Wow. For some reason, I feel like whenever I lower the opacity of the object, it actually looks more realistic. I don't know what that is because if you're literally making someone more invisible in the photo, how does it make... Mm. I don't know. Okay, I need opinions. You guys tell me if this is a obvious Photoshop. I'm trying to make it more obvious than the last one. Dang, dude. 
I mean, it's pretty obvious. Like, it can't be a lot of other people. Dude, I feel like if I make it any bigger, I can't even make it look realistic, though. But I guess at some point, I just have to have to do it. It's pretty small. I think someone would notice. I think somebody will notice. I feel like it's it's obvious enough. It's definitely the most obvious one so far. Yeah. Okay, let's see if she's there. Let's see if people notice that Kylie Jenner is sitting in the background of my photo. All right, it's only been about 15 minutes and I've gotten word from my, what's that? People found out. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Apparently, uh, comment after comment, Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner. So finally, wow, you guys finally caught on. So happy for you. Only took, what, six times? Mm. Let's read some of these comments, shall we? First comment, first person to recognize it. Abby said, those girls be staring. <laughs> Emma Davidson said, is that Kylie Jenner in the background? Congrats, Emma. Snaps for Emma in the comments, please. She's the first person to detect a celebrity in this. That's absolutely crazy. Also, Emma K. Stevens said right after, is that Kylie Jenner in the background? Emma's. Y'all are putting the team on your back right now. Yeah, looks like pretty much everyone knows. Wait, is Kylie Jenner photoshopped in the background? Not gonna mention Kylie Jenner in the back. Yo, dude, Kylie Jenner is behind you. <laughs> dude, go back. You have to go back to that yoga place. Kylie Jenner, is that you? Is Kylie Jenner in the back? Anyways, you get the idea. Literally, I've been doing this video for like three months and you guys finally figured it out. So I'm, I'm actually happy for you. I am. We're gonna do one more. It's gonna be Billie Eilish. And honestly, there's no way you don't see her in the photo. Because if, if you don't... <clears throat> I think I actually might have damaged either my shoe or the wall there. No, that thing's invincible. That's some strong stuff right there. What I was saying was, honestly, there's no way you guys can beat me at this point. I'm up like, what, 5-1? Mm, pretty big deficit that you're in. I'm still gonna post this Billy photo because it's gonna be the best one out of all. Throwback New York. This time, Billy's behind me. You can literally just cross-reference the photos. Y'all getting right. Let's get it. Hello and welcome back to Disney Channel. So, the final, the finale, the final boss, if you will, for you guys is gonna be Billie Eilish in New York City with me. So here I am looking fantastic in New York City, as always. She's gonna be looking at me, which is the coolest part of all. And it's kind of crazy how you can just create plots in your own life using Photoshop. I am very lonely. The only issue is gonna be this guy's feet. Not something you wanna hear every day, but it's the reality that I'm living in right now. See if I can give him another foot. If I can give him another foot, this would actually solve a lot of issues. Let's give him this one. It's a nice shoe. Hello, new shoe. Dang, he's got some big old feet. Dude looks like he's wearing size 18s. If I could, I'd get rid of this guy completely, but he's, it's just not gonna work that way. Here, let's make these guys a little bit more blurry. Not bad at all. Not good at all, but hey, we're somewhere in the middle, so that's okay. What's missing? See, I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's the lights? I think it might be these shoes. Hmm. Maybe I'll give him some different shoes. These, these shoes look more promising, to be honest. I mean, do these shoes look more realistic to you guys? You literally can't answer me, so. I think I'm just gonna make it darker. Is this shoe really gonna be the death of me here? Are you kidding me? A shoe? You know what, I think I'm gonna lower the opacity. That always seems to work well for some reason. If humans just look like they're slightly phantoms. Shout out to Danny, by the way. I mean, is anyone gonna miss this? Obviously not. But this is the grand finale. This is the ultimate obvious test to you guys. If you miss this, you might actually not own Instagram, or maybe you just don't follow me, which is your first mistake. All right, well, I'll see you in a little bit. And honestly, I'm expecting a lot of wrath. Peace. You know what? I'm back because I'm not satisfied with this. I can do much better and I'll show you how. Watch this. I'm only gonna put Billie Eilish in it. Screw these other guys, okay? You know why? Because it's just causing issues. The shoe looks so fake. Get, what's the shoe doing here? Get out of here. How do I get rid of this shoe? There it is. Okay. It can be a lot more convincing, all right? If it's just Billie Eilish. Obviously, this isn't gonna be convincing whatsoever because why would Billie Eilish be in Times Square by herself looking at me, take an Instagram photo as if I mean something on this earth? And much like Kylie Jenner, as if I wouldn't know. As if no one would know Billie Eilish is just in Times Square. No one's freaking out. People are just walking past her. Yeah, it's just another, another day in New York City. You know how that goes. Is that a Gucci? What is that? It's just sitting on her foot. It's a Gucci. That's all it is. I mean, how short is she? What's her height? Oh my God. So she's 5'3". I would suspect this woman right here is what, 5'5"? Five, five? Now nah, I'm gonna have to work on the colors, definitely. Oh, yeah, there we go. She does look super pale, but I think she is pale, just like me. I should really take a class on this stuff if I wanna make videos about it. It's almost like her face needs to be more red. I think that might be it. That's what she looked like when she was on Hot Ones, basically. Jeez Louise. All right, that looks real. <laughs> Oh, she just got out of the hottest beach ever. That made a big difference, honestly. It really did. Yeah, I think this is as uh, good as we are going to get. Let's post this for real. One more time. I'm 
I'm making it better. So I noticed everyone else has this like white outline around their head. So I'm working on this. I'm also gonna add some uh, colors here. All the lights, you know, she's got sunglasses on. Obviously they need to be reflecting. I think this is gonna be as good as we can get, but I'm glad I keep coming back for revisions. Honestly, I am. All right, so this is before all the edits, after. Here goes nothing for real this time. <laughs> Last time, dang it. I noticed that there's like a green hue coming from this side. Looks like it's on most, most people's bodies. So if we can add this green hue, maybe we can make it look like she's more there. If it's gonna be obvious, I at least want it to be good. All right, gang, I think at this point, I'm just overthinking it, I'm gonna be honest. It looks better than it did before. At the very least, we can say that and sleep at night. I tried my best, I'm posting it, whatever. Well, 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 here we are. Final test, if you will. Can I ask Spock something? Spock, did you notice Billie Eilish in my last photo? What is Billie Eilish? Thanks, Spock. Back to you, Ryan. Thanks, Spock. Let's see what people said about Billie Eilish. Let's be honest, you guys are just gonna roast me. Oh, as if we didn't see Billie Eilish in the background. I already, I already know what you guys said. Did Billie Photoshop you in this picture? Yeah, I think she actually Photoshopped me. Bro, I'm 12 and I have bigger feet than you. That's irrelevant. Bro, stop the Photoshop. As if, Hannah. As if you actually even knew that I was doing it in the first place. You're so funny. <laughs> Stop it. He's clever. That's right. NYC, more like you are a QT. Okay, these are all just flirts. Haley, they're all just flirting with me. What's the deal with that? Block them. Block them? Okay. Billy do be looking kind of fresh though. Bro, I really thought these were real. Come on, Ashley Coon, they are. Clearly, people know like, oh, that's Billie Eilish. I think I did a decent job on the Photoshop, better than at least Spock could do. Is that right, Spock? He's staring at me, guys. He's disappointed. I'll do better. <sighs> wow, this experiment has taught me a lot. You guys think you're all that, but you're not. I got four on you guys, you got two on me, and I had to make them easier and easier. And the crazy thing is, no one noticed until Kylie. Cedric said no one gonna mention Zac Efron walking. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow my Instagram. I mean, why the heck not at this point? You might as well, you never know what's next. And honestly, I doubt you'll even catch me whenever I do the next thing, so why would you even follow me anyway? <laughs> Check me out on YouTube as well. That's where, just subscribe to me is what I mean. Smash like. Thanks for watching. Like most people, I have acne. <gasps> wow. One skincare technique is uh, clay. The recommended treatment time is 15 minutes. So I was like, if we do it for 24 hours, right? Hang with me. It will work 100 times as well.